Oh my god! No! I had it and I dumbed! I had it and I dumbed it up! No, I did it and I dumbed it. Wow. I, I randomly found this level in, um... It was on, I forget, oh yeah, I was looking at water levels uh, to get ideas for my terrible level. <clears throat> and this was actually really fun. I think this is a water level. Do students ever recognize you from your streams? Yeah, it has, it has happened. One day, Carl and his apprentice went to study an aquatic biome. Upon arrival, Carl went to check in and the apprentice got the boat docked. Carl met back up with the apprentice and said, is the boat ready? To which the apprentice said, I, I, I doctor. <laughs> Uh, Carl said, this is a casual study, no need for formalities, so where's the boat? The apprentice, looking confused, told Carl again, I doctor. Get out of my sight. Did you just come up with that? What the heck? Yes, doctor. I docked her. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get here. Leave that in, I'm bad. <laughs> the timer, it's fine. Uh, go on, try to think of it six months. <clears throat> Anyway, this is fun. It's a, This is a swimming level that I actually enjoyed the concept of. So I, I saw the first room of this and I was like, this is actually a cool idea. It's like a freaking Toho. Bullet hell. Oh, girl bad. Underwater bullet hell in Mario Maker. I'm okay with this. Oh gosh. Oh, skills. Let's go. Let's go. I came up with that. That's TG Buns for you. Awesome. Okay, musical interlude. Oh, okay, R ramp, oh wait. Oh, this is so cool too, it's like a little boss fight. Throwing little projectiles at you. This is great. Wait, was there a star somewhere? I feel like there was a star somewhere and I just missed it. Oh wow, did I just kill? I just, I was supposed to, to kill it with the icicles and I didn't even realize what was going on. The boss we all wanted in Carl's level. I know, I should make more bosses. To be honest, I should have spent more time on that level. Oh, okay, we're still underwater, but it's like the underwater night castle thing. Yeah, it's just, just like a cool level concept. I love this. Oh my god! Do I have a checkpoint? Or am I going back? Oh good lord! Ah! Okay, I did I get a checkpoint? I can't remember. Oh, thank goodness I got a checkpoint. Okay, I think we want to stay low to the ground so the hammers don't hit us. Oh, but the hammers, but the hammers. Oh, oh, and then up. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, let's go. Very fun platforming, I like it. Yeah, bullet hell hype. You could make some really interesting and difficult bullet hells. Suddenly multiplayer level. I would love to see somebody make a super crazy bullet hell. Like one that's actually doable. Do I have to get the moon? I'm gonna get the moon. Okay, I think I just had to get the moon. Luckily I snuck in there. This level also has really nice aesthetics and like theming and stuff. The music interlude is Toho music, yeah. Love it. So I think we've got two more pipes to get through. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Ah. Ah. What's coming out of them? Oh no! Oh god, all right. Uh, I don't know how to dodge this. Okay, side. Up. Sweet. Bonk. Nice. One to go. <laughs> oh, oh, it goes this way, it goes this way. Oh, this is sweet. This is sweet. Oh, I need to dodge the wiggler. Whoa, boy. And then get the star. Yeah. Wait. No star. I need. Oh, I need to wait for the P-switch to wear off. Okay, actually. Uh, oh, perfect. All right, nice. In there. Yay! Are we done? Victory. Wait, how would you get the top? How, would you have somehow got the on and off switch different? 
Hmm. Was there a true ending there with the on and off switch, maybe? Anyway, cool level. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I appreciate a good bullet hell. If they, I, I would love to see what other things people can do with some cool bullet hells. Mario Ho. <laughs> like it. All right, guys. So I've spent, I've, I've been in my, I've been in my coral cave grinding out surgical shells three one of the hardest hardest shell levels ever made like 420 69 hours on this guys that's how long i've been playing this 420 69 hours i think i think we're finally we're finally getting close to that clear all right <laughs> oh all right, this is a this is a really hard trick coming up here. Oh, nailed it! <laughs> oh, this is a warm up level though. <laughs> Hacks. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, Yoshi tricks are my specialty. <laughs> Yeah, um, for anybody who doesn't know, Surgical Shells 1 and 2 were uh, ridiculously hard shell levels in Mario Maker 1. And then, this is the most convincing one so far. It should troll you if you keep holding up at the end here. I feel like it should troll you. Now go for world record. Uh, wow, that's a frame perfect trick right there. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. I'm a Kaizo God. Never again. I'm sorry y'all had to hear that. <laughs> Carl's using Game Shark. Um, Ripper Thrill Run says, Carl, my six-year-old daughter loves this game and your streams. Uh, she made her first speedrun level and the only thing I helped her with was setting up the key doors. Oh, that's really awesome, Reaper. Um, if you have 20 seconds, she'd be pumped to watch you play it. Oh, if it's 20 seconds, I'll do it. That sounds cute. Let's do it. All right, look, normally normally I don't play, I don't play the viewer webbles, but... The cuteness of your daughter has gotten me. Or this is like a. I, if this is Thwomp Suck, if this is Thwomp Suck, I'm gonna shake your hand right now. Okay, no, Care Bears Keys. Precision speed on created for my six year old daughter. Aw. <laughs> Hi -ya! Ah! No! Alright, we, we gotta get two more hits on him. Hi -ya! Haha, uh -huh, you can't get me. Ugh! There we go. Yeah! Going in the door. Oh jeez, I almost walked into that. Oh, I think we, oh wait, it's 20 seconds. I just realized it was 20 seconds. I just realized it was 20 seconds, no. <laughs> wait a minute, hold on, I don't. Oh. Run, yeah. Dev exit. All right, oh my gosh, 12 seconds. Oh. Your six year old daughter beat this? <laughs> Jeez, that was it zero seconds left. Yeah, that was actually fun. I'll tell your six-year-old daughter that she's better at this game than I am. <laughs> that was super fun. Thank you. Let that be a lesson to you out there. <laughs> your levels are less fun to play. Take notes. Well, so let's go walk the chomp. No sleep, gang. Hmm, yes. We have, we have our little doggos. Whoa! Are they that long? Wait. Are they normally that long? I'm pretty sure they're not that long. Are they that long? I think that's too long. Oh boy, what's happening? Uh... <laughs> Whoa, I got trapped! It was a trap! I got trapped! Night mode they are. Okay, so this is night mode. I legit got trapped. That was a that was actually be a sick troll. <laughs> Alright, we're free. We're free. Hey, we got Chinese. What could be better? Life is good. Oh! Well that was rude. Wow, they really go on a magical journey at night mode. I've got to do some more stuff with night mode. Wait, 
Those jump when you jump in night mode? I am learning new things all the time. Why does it say why? Okay, we got this back. Wow. Chomps are so wonky at night. Well, look at that one's chain. The chain is like freaking out. <laughs> God, they're weird. I love them. Look at look at all these beautiful doggos. Oh, wow. So like the little platform like extends its chain. Whoa. Boing. <laughs> wow, it really goes flying away to victory. Wait. Wait, what? Look at that! It's like stuck in the- it gets stuck in the wall. It- It can go through the wall, but then it gets stuck in the wall. Who programmed? <laughs> oh my god. Woof woof. Let's go. <laughs> All right, what does this one do? Uh... Well! <laughs> Chomp's like, I'm out! I'm out! Bye! 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 I'm out! <laughs> Wait, he's still going! <laughs> what the heck is happening? Why are they so stupid? <laughs> Sorry, not stupid. Not stupid. Beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful just the way you are. <laughs> Good boy! What? Where go? Oh, we got more. Oh! Hello there. <laughs> wow. They're amazing. They're amazing. Chomp away to victory. You walk. Okay. You walk that dog. <laughs> How walk dog? Wait, I need my dog. I need my dog. I was like, how do I walk dog? I think it's the dog back here. Hold on, I'm coming. I'm coming, pupper friend. Oh. Ah! Uh, okay. Oh, I need to walk dog. I need to walk dog. How do I? Okay, I think I have to reset it. I think I get it. I think I get it. I have to get the stump. Okay, now I'll be able to get the stump. Oh, okay. Yeah! Uh oh Yeah! I'm walking dog! Ooh! Uh, this is fun. Oh yeah, they can't hit you like this. They can't hit you! Hi! Wee! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Whoa! Feisty boy. Come back! <laughs> Come back! Whoop! Wait, look at this. It, like, when you, when you fully extend the chain, then it goes whoop! So you like run, fully extend, and then whoop! <laughs> Aww. This is cute. This is cute. We need more dog walking levels in Mario Maker. Oh, and he can probably hit that. Did you just murder those other dogs? Probably just going to say hi, it's fine. Just want to sniff the other dogs, no problem. Uh. Definitely no dog murder going on here. Wait, what do I do now? What do I do now? It's interesting, after you've picked them up, then they've, uh, I was gonna say then they become friendly to you, but apparently if you move, then they can hit you. Or maybe it's a timer? I wonder what controls when you can do it again. Yeah, would it hurt somebody else in versus mode? Good question, I think it would. Oh, it goes up, I think I need to keep it, okay, I think I get it. I think I have to keep it at the bottom. Oh, because if I fully extend the chain, then he comes off the bottom. Okay, I think I get this. I think I get we're, we're now playing walking dog puzzle levels. Oh, he came back up here again, though. I think I want him down there, because, right, he'll never go back down there right now. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I think I get it. I, I, if you grab it at the wrong time, then it pulls it up here. So I think I need to wait. I need to wait for the chain. To, yeah, yeah, now that the chain's back. Okay, so I have to sort of follow him. Yeah, see, if I follow him at just the right pace, then he stays on the bottom. Oh, okay, you gotta work with the dog. Gotta work with the dog. I get it now. <laughs> this is this is the world's first chain chomp walk your dog puzzle. Let's go. 
Woo! We just yeeted that. That was awesome. That was really cute. I would love to see more people do stuff like that. I think, so I think the key there is to just have the night mode. The ground night mode. Um, with the chomps. Does amazing things. Walking the dog is actually walking the dog. Yeah. <laughs> dog go bite. Dog gonna do that. Dog good boy. Let's all go home after we break Lemmy's balls. <laughs> If the projectile limit is at 100, new projectiles can't spawn. Neat, huh? All right, we're breaking Lemmy's balls. Let's do it. Balls. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa, more balls. More balls for my ball army. More balls. What is happening right now? What will happen? <laughs> this is some Mario Maker science right here. Oh, it was satisfying watching all the gaps fill in in the like ball thing. Wait, there's still one gap. There's still one gap and it's triggering me. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's so satisfying looking. Okay. <laughs> So there's like maximum entity limit of balls. <laughs> Wee! Wow. Look at that. So none of the cannons shoot. These guys don't spit anything. The blue guys don't. Wow. Oh, whoa, he's coming for me. Oh god, the balls are coming for me. The balls are coming for me! More balls. <laughs> That's a cool setup. They're like spawning a lot of balls and then they're just booping them through the ground. Are they staying spawned but going through the ground? Are all those balls still spawned? Whoa, what's. Oh, yep, there they are. Now they're gone. Now there's no more. Now there's no more. <laughs> <laughs> they're just frozen. They're just frozen. Look at that. They're just completely frozen. Wow. Sorry guys, that's my phone. <laughs> it's amazing. They don't shoot. They don't shoot dry bones. They don't. They don't shoot anything. They don't shoot spikes. Oh, I can still shoot these. Okay, I can still do that. <laughs> Hello, friend. <laughs> oh, they just walk around all weird. Wait, come back, come back. Okay. All right, he's going, he's going along the bottom. Oh, I have to keep. Uh oh, oh, what a weird setup. I have to keep doing this, or else he just freaking <laughs> commits Sudoku off the edge. All right. No, stop. Wait, why does it do that? Stop. What makes it do that? Why does he do this? Okay. No, wait. No! What is this? No. No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> what if I face him? Oh, he landed. Go. Go. No, I. No! I domed! I had it and I domed it up! No, I did it and I domed it! Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No! Oh, yes, 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 Okay. All right, working as intended. GG.
How hard could it be to kill a Goomba? By the great Federico. What am I doing? Kill Goomba. Kill Goomba hard. How kill Goomba? What? That doesn't count as- How does that not count as killing it? That is so stupid. That doesn't give you- So if there's a key inside of a Goomba, if there's a key inside of an enemy and you throw the enemy off a cliff, literally no key ever. <laughs> Oh, reach the goal without taking damage. Oops. Kill the Goomba. How do we do it without taking damage? I'm assuming you can't... Hold on, wait. What if I, like... That's like a Kaiser jump. This can't be what he wants. This can't be what he wants. It's gotta be something with the SMP2. Oops. Can I throw it? I've got an idea. You know what? I've got an idea. What if I throw it inside of the wall? What? Oh! Yeah! You throw it inside of the wall. That's what you do. You throw it inside of the wall. Because clearly... Clearly smashing its face into the ceiling... Is more killing than throwing it down a bottomless pit. <laughs> That's cool. Federico says that... He has a Unamas. The Koopa just wants his shell back. Why are you so mean? Koopa bullying. Well, my level got deleted for bullying, so you better watch out, Federico. <laughs> Wait, this reminds me of an old Mario Maker 1. Wait, what am I trying to do here? <laughs> we dancing! We dancing! <laughs> Reached the goal after delete deleting, oh gosh, defeating at least one Koopa Troopa. <laughs> so we got an extra bit of height, I think, from that. Because if you look at these platforms, they're sort of like, when you put them on the diagonal uh, track like that, they're sort of halfway between blocks. So like, if we were to just bounce on that, or just do that, or even, maybe we could get him when he wakes up though. Or even just like bounce off of him. See, we can't get enough, we can't get enough height up there. Really cool level. I like it. Someone told me that this was cool, so let's look at this. Fast in 3.0. This is a new glitch of some sort, I think. Okay. Um, <laughs> I feel like I missed something about this level. <laughs> I feel like I missed something. What? What? People are saying there's a block? Ain't no block, bruh. Oh. Uh, can you get this? Can you get said block? Can you get said block? Whoa! That's an interesting setup. Okay. Whoa. Oh, is this gonna be a setup? Okay, so it has to do with... I think that launcher is overlapping something. Whoa! There was two launchers on top of each other and then that one just got stuck. Can we shoot fast fireballs? I want to shoot fast fireballs. <gasps> and broken. Yep. It's busted. It's broken. <laughs> wow. That was a I, I like this. I like this setup that you need just to be able to access the crazy glitch. That's to avoid reports. Oh, that makes sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. That's actually smart. <laughs> Dumb. Piranha Clips by Soup Bowl. The uselessest jank you've ever seen. Oh, I don't know about that. Mario Maker has quite a bit of uselessest jank. 
<laughs> um, why does that do that? Is this munchers like somehow getting in the way? I think, like maybe this is a two blo two tile long piranha base, but like. What? <laughs> All right. All right, fine. Fine. Working isn't intended as all. Oh, what is this going to do? What is this going to do? What? Wait, that just happens? Is I don't think there's anything hidden behind this launcher right here cuz you can sort of see through the cracks. I have a feeling that that is actually how it works, which intrigues and disturbs me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There's some vibrating going on. <laughs> this is sort of like that trick where if you put a launcher on top of that piranha, then the launcher would be brrrring. Nintendo slopes go brrrr. <laughs> Wait. Does Luigi always have this like, does Luigi always have this like slope standing thing? Like where he's got, he's got like his leg up right here. Is that always a feature of, Wow, I don't think I ever realized that this is, he's got like a twisted leg when he stands on slopes. Huh. Oh, I just, well, I just accidentally got the gold, but hey. Okay. Good to know. That was falling with style. It's useless but interesting. Yo, Subplectic says, I promised to do a lightning talk about. S oh, okay. I thought, I just assumed this was a troll for a second. Hold on a second. Uh, Symplectic says, I promised to do a lightning talk about selfish DNA in two days, but I actually don't know enough about biology and feel like an imposter. Ah, welcome. Well, everybody's an imposter before you actually begin something and learn something, so don't worry about that. Do you know any cool examples, aspects of it that I can read up on? It's just DNA stuff in general or specifically about like DNA? I personally actually, even though it, like I'm not a huge fan of the selfish gene concept. Um, just because it's, it, to my, in my opinion, it's anthropomorphizing something that is like, you know, just replicating. Um, but there are plenty of DNA related things. You might, uh, I would look into two things. If you're just talking about like cool stuff to do with sort of like DNA acting as like a self replicating unit, I would look into endogenous retroviruses. Um, endogenous retroviruses are viruses that have integrated themselves into our DNA. Um, and they, like, I think about 7% of all of our DNA is these fragments of these viruses that, like, evolutionarily integrated at some point <clears throat> into our ancestors' DNA, and they're just there now. Um, and they're really cool, actually. There's some evidence that, um, that we, that, like, humans and other species have used these, like, fragments to do interesting things. There's even an, I, there's even a thought about, um, like, the origin of some, uh, it's a protein called ARC. But it, um, it has to do with uh, transmitting little packages of information between neurons. Um, and it's thought that the sort of package that this stuff is stored in is actually sort of like the package that viruses use to store their genetic material. And so when a virus infected us, it put its gene for its own little package into our genome, but then we co-opted it later and used it to uh, build our own neurons. Um, so that's a really cool thing. UPS viruses. Uh, that's the one that comes to mind. Another one, <clears throat> another one that you might be interested in is something called jumping genes. Uh, in general, you should look into that. Or mobile genetic elements. It's basically pieces of DNA that jump around in our genome. They're pretty cool. It's quantum weirdness rant time. Whoa, tell Chad a story about the delayed choice quantum eraser double slit experiment. Pulse, if I understood anything about quantum stuff, I would love to talk about it, but first I would have to actually understand everything. I have gone back and re- have you guys watched the double slit experiment? I have gone back and watched it like probably 10 times over the years and I still like have absolutely no idea what to actually make of it. Like, is it actually in two places at once? Is the universe actually just random? Is there something that we just don't understand yet? Is it, is calling anything a wave just a lie? And really everything is neither a particle or a wave, but something in between, and it's just our definitions that are wrong? Is it just at the macro scale that our definitions are close enough that it doesn't matter? Um, 
Like, is anything really even a particle, or is every like even subatomic particles or whatever, all the fundamental physics particles, or whatever, is that just bullshit and that doesn't really exist? Are are the things that we think of as waves, like, it, is that bullshit too? Like, I don't know. I it, and the whole like observing something changes its behavior. Is that does that really what it means, or is that like an interpretation of what it means? I don't know. Anyway, it's it's it, I never have wrapped my head around it. So that's all I've got. Is that I think it's awesome to think about, but also like what the heck, dude. Speaking of crazy physics, um, I have been into this. Uh, um, there's there's a lot of really great YouTube channels on this sort of stuff like PBS space time is pretty great um, But there was a uh, series of these like science music videos that I really got into called symphony of science They're not like it's super informative, but they're super freaking cool if any of you haven't checked them out I got into those recently like one of the, um, Like one of the things that constantly blows my mind is that gravity actually apparently affects time so like they literally have to program um is it the like the for gps satellites they have to program the time differently so that when you're like gps is communicating with a satellite time is literally passing at a different rate in space away for a little bit further away from earth's gravity and so like they literally have to take account take into account that difference in time um which is just like what does that even mean <laughs> what the heck does that even mean what do you mean time passes at a different rate like that's just so wild so i don't know sometime when i get a lot more time i was i've been hoping to like do a deep dive uh into some of this stuff it's so crazy they're experimentally tested this on top of the tokyo towers versus the bottom it's not just gravity it's also that the gps satellites are moving quickly right so the faster you move Something, something, something time. Yeah, it's about, it has to do with relativity. The more you know, the more you know, the more you know, the more you know, knowledge is power. The more you know, the more you know, the more you know. Carl, thank you for all the joy.